okay? Now we want a particular solution, okay? That means we got to find some function which when run through this left hand side is going to give us an e to the t and also a cosine of 3t. Well, in order to get e to the t from derivatives of y, which is from y and its derivatives, which is what we have here, I wrote a derivatives of y, I should have said y and its derivatives, uh, but I think you understand. Uh, y's got to be a multiple of e to the t. There's nothing else you can take a derivative of to get a multiple of e to the t, okay? And to get the cosine of 3t from y and its derivatives, what does y have to be? Well, y has to be a multiple of cosine of 3t and or sine of 3t, because some derivatives, well, every other derivative of sine of 3t is a multiple of a cosine of 3t. So we have to use both the cosine of 3t and the sine of 3t <coughs> in our trial solution. And we've talked about trial solutions, particular solutions, we've done this already. So this should be uh, uh, hopefully a useful review. Okay, well, then our trial solution is going to be yp is a multiple of cosine of 3t plus a multiple of sine of 3t plus a multiple of e to the t. I use c1, c2, and c3. As I said, I'm running out of alphabet. Lowercase c as opposed to the uppercase c I used over here, but this isn't in... Uh, no, we're not using these constants anymore. Anyway, uh, still. Okay, there are the constants, and then we simply want to put this particular solution into the equation which means we've got the y for our y sub p. Uh, we need to get our y double prime. Well, okay, we take two derivatives. No, I'm not going to do that. You can take two derivatives of this, and if you don't get what I got, uh, fix it, because I'm pretty sure this is right, because any mistake I made, people seem to have caught. Okay? Uh, so we have these, and then when we do yp double prime plus 4yp, which is what we have to do if we plug this into this equation, this is what we get. Now, I'm not going to point to every step of this, just, you know. We add this to this, to, well, four times this to this, and here's what we get, okay? Now, the coefficient of cosine of 3t turns out to involve just c1, so we get negative 5c1. And, of course, what we have to get out of this is cosine of 3t, so whatever's in front of cosine of 3t here has to be 1. So negative 5 C1 has to be 1, C1 is negative 1 fifth. Okay? There's no sine of 3t over here, so whatever is in front of sine of 3t has to be 0. Well, in this case, both of these coefficients are, are multiples of C2, so the sum of these is a multiple of C2, so C2 has to equal 0. And then C3 plus 4 C3 e to the t uh, has to be e to the t, that's 5c3 e to the t has to equal e to the t. So 5c3 has to equal 1, and c3 is 1 fifth. <coughs> <coughs> Meaning that our particular solution is what? Negative 1 fifth cosine of 3t plus 1 fifth e to the t. Just you know, plugging these constants in up here, the sign goes away and so forth. And again, that's really straightforward, so you should understand that. Okay. And our general solution to the equation, then, is a cosine of 2t plus phi, just this thing, and I, as I said, I dropped the subscript because I didn't need it anymore, uh, plus that particular solution, and there's the solution, the general solution to this equation. <coughs>